Okay guys, I was just gonna go shoot my bow before it worked out, and then this box showed up from HHA, and I was like, oh crap, that's the rise. So I had to switch it out. Fortunately, I was pretty doped with the Tetra 4 tournament, so all I had to do was mark where this dovetail went in to the bridge lock, which by the way, I wanna tighten that down. So I marked it, now I'm gonna silver sharp it. Oh, that is tight. I had to switch out the infinite uh, adjustability. I had to 180 it like I did on the other one. So I just matched it up, flipped it over 180. It was nine ticks up this, the rail, locked it in, took the side off, matched it up with the old sight, got the 20, 30, 40 to match. Cause remember this was a four pin and I removed a pin. So this came as a three pin custom from HHA. So I put that in there, kind of matched up the elevation, matched up the windage. And then I just went went ahead and put levels on the string. Uh, Hamsky Gen 2 on the rail here. Got the second axis doped in. Third axis is not doped in yet. And then I put my uh, side on, my side end tape on. Because they sent me sight tapes out to, oh, one of them goes out to 170. But anyways, so you find zero, which I did. And I like zero to be at the dead stop. So make sure that it's all the way up dead stop. You don't want to play at your home base. It needs to be like, that's home base. Lock it in. Shoot at 20. 20 was doped. And then I checked 30, checked 40. You guys saw that. I had to make a couple adjustments, fine tune 30, fine tune 40, walk back to 60, and I just kept shooting 60 until I got like three arrows in the 11 ring. And 60 for me is number 43. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna take this off. And the cool thing is, is these are with my RIP TKOs. I am probably gonna make a sight tape with my Pro Comps. They're about nine grains heavier, and I would love to be able to switch back and forth. So this has a dual pin indicator, but especially if you're doing like Total Archer Challenge and making special arrows for that like I am this year, you can do that and switch out tape with that barrel. It's cool. So let's see what 42 gets us here. Also, comment below if you shoot AHA, give it a thumbs up. I'm gonna pick a few of you and I'm gonna send you some long range sight tapes. By the way, I do giveaways a lot here. And the only reason I do them is because I have abundance. I wanna give you guys more stuff. I don't need five boxes of long range sight tapes. You do. I will not ever announce a winner other than on video. So if you get a message or if you get something that looks like it's from me, it ain't me. I only announce winners, so I will announce the winners. I'm gonna give away five side tapes, long range, to HHA owners who comment below, thumbs up, tell me which HHA you own, and I'll send them to your house, and it'll only be announced on the video. So let's pull out number 43. There she is. So 43 go, actually 42. 42 goes all the way out to 140. Cool. So we are gonna take this, this dude, and we're gonna put tape right over the top of it. I'm gonna click 42, and I'm gonna be very particular on how I set this up. Remember, I'm gonna date this sight tape for a couple weeks. I'm not completely married to it. It could be a 43, it could be a 41, and that fits perfect. I'm gonna lock that down. That's beautiful. So my bottom pin is 40 yards. My top pin is 20. So that's real life too. So I did the 20, 30, 40 first, and it matches my sight tape. I got a suspicion we're gonna be close. So last but not least for you Toro Archery Challenge nerds, let's say we're shooting the old uh, Rip TKO. We can slide out to about, so I'll get contact oh, around about 112 yards. I'm gonna get contact with the vein, but my bottom pin is gonna show at 125. So realistically, about as far as I can shoot with this 29, shooting 280 feet a second with a 427 arrow total grains. is about 125 yards with this setup where my peeps at for my draw length for the speed. So HHA, man. And by the way, we're gonna go pay a visit to HHA factory. On the next video, we're gonna take you to Vortex HQ and Matthews HQ and give you a look behind the scenes of an elk shape camp. I can't wait to share with that with you guys. We'll catch you on the next one. Oh, by the way, Please, don't just hang out and not sub. We need subs, we're going to 100K. We got a big archery tournament we wanna to host. It's gonna be free, it's gonna be the biggest. MFJJ, the boys, we're all gonna be there. It's gonna be awesome, hope to see you there.